Hey everybody, it's just me LTM. I'm coming to you today from my backyard because I have a job to do and I thought why not film it? So here I am. And what I have to do today is restring my clothesline. This isn't something I've ever had to do before, so brand new thing to me. We'll see how it goes. I'm concerned about being able to uh, give it enough tension so that it will hold up my clothes when I hang them on there and I'm wondering whether anyone watching from America actually knows what this is because the Hills Hoist clothesline was an Australian invention. We hang up our clothes outside because most of the year we can actually get our clothes dried outside thanks to our climate. Um, so yeah, I'll show you a picture of it. It's looking a bit bedraggled at the moment because some of the lines have actually come down and I've started to take the other lines down. So here's a shot of my clothesline. So yeah, so probably not going to be a lot of talking in this. Possibly some of me getting very frustrated trying to do something that I have never done before. So let's see how this goes. Well, I've done as much as I can for today and I've added two whole lines. So the outside line and the next line in and then partially the third line. All that mess over there is uh, old line because on the third line there is still the old line over that side. The reason why I had to stop filming was because it is quite a warm day here. In sunny Perth where I live I mean just look at that sky this is autumn in Perth 
and I can't go all the way around there because the sun's over there. Um, but yeah, I mean, how is this for an amazing, amazing autumn day? Uh, yeah, and I had, I had clothes sitting in a washing basket over there, which you probably saw when I was doing the initial filming. And I realized they were starting to get dry already. So I had to stop filming and hang them up. So that kind of put paid to wanting to replace as many of the lines on the clothesline as it needed because now there's clothes hanging on, on part of them. So it seems to be holding up. I, I purposely hung clothes on the lines that I replaced today and hasn't fallen down yet uh, there isn't any breeze today really I mean clothes moving uh, a small amount but there's really hardly any breeze today so it's not a particularly good test but we'll see over time how that goes whether it stays staying up or not but for now it's doing okay here's a close-up of one of the I'm really not sure how well that is going to stay connected and that sign I think is pretty firm it's got one of the connect things unfortunately most of the other ones had perished so I haven't got those on all of the lines this wrapping around seemed to be the best way to do that and uh, and yeah, it seems to be holding up at the minute. This one is not as tidy, but I do think that will hold. Has um, new line that I've used has string inside of it whereas the old one has wire inside of it so it's a bit more tricky I should have brought some scissors out with me would have made it easier to cut uh, but yeah so I've had a go at restringing my line and time will tell how successful that was let me know in the comments down below how do you dry your clothes do you use a clothesline outside different kind of clothesline than my kind of clothesline maybe the one where you've got to use a pole to prop it up alternately do you just always dry your clothes in the clothes dryer it's what my children always do they never hang their clothes up outside they always use the dryer doesn't matter whether it's daytime or nighttime that's how they dry their clothes and maybe you dry your clothes under a patio or you use a clothes source let me know in the comments down below. That's all from me today. See you next time. Bye.